And that's it. Need to buy another soldier. <laughs> God damn it. Nice boost to Valyrium though, which is pretty dandy. Gonna make more flying suits. Mine probes are nice too. Quick cash injection. Uh, yeah, we'll just speed that up. There's no one in there, really. Why is there no one in that base? You literally have two hangars. Did I just, like, forget to build a ship? Oh, I guess the retaliator's gonna go there. Wait, no, that doesn't make sense either. It costs Illyrium to fly the Avenger, so you, like, only want to use it when you have to. Uh, like, if you're just shooting down small UFOs, you might as well just use a retaliator or an interceptor. Uh, so maybe the... Oh, they can build their own. Shit. I'm dumb. Those workshops got finished a while ago. <laughs> Time to buy a shitload of engineers then. I'm thinking 120? And we're gonna build some more... Workshops, once we have money. So engineers are expensive, surprisingly. Yeah, we can get rid of some alloys. We're gonna pick some up at the base, so... I think you get navigation from the base as well. I'm not 100% sure on that one though. That'll do. Um, so another workshop, and like a living quarters here. Maybe like a workshop there. Yeah, it looks good. We probably need to sell some more stuff. Like corpses. Who doesn't like corpses? Um, anything else? I could sell some heavy plasmas, maybe. We only need more than 20 or so. With two clips each. There we go. Money. Everyone likes money. And he's gone. Why did he disappear? There we go. I thought that we only got him at this range, though. That kind of suggests there's a bug with the radar that isn't fixed in Open XCOM yet. Because... The... Radar system, like the terrestrial, human only radar systems have a really small chance of detection. But the... Hyperwave decoder... Always intercepts all transmissions, at least it's supposed to, but like, so it should it should perfectly track all the time, but like we just saw it only pick up from like over here or something, it's kind of weird. Wait till he's overland, gun him down, wait, it's a very small, aggressive, maybe he'll shoot back, actually that's not true, because <laughs> I'm pretty sure, like, you're 90% sure very smalls actually have no guns. They're partying in Central Asia. Shit. Oh, I don't really want to do a terror mission. Uh, Alright, let's... Let's get everyone in the air. Who's nearby? There's no one there? Why is there no one there? Come on. We need to build some more dudes. It's Zeno in the air. Uh... Actually, just track it directly. Much easier. Please don't land, please don't land. Uh... I think you can shoot without retaliation. Yeah, alright. Wait, he's over land though. So, maybe just wait for him to go over... Sorry, not over land, he's over water, so let's just wait for him to go over air and then gun him down. Like so. Actually, just, just 
just so that everyone can see this, let's wait until the second Intercept gets there. Oh shit, he's running away. Alright, never mind. We don't have time. <laughs> Gun him down. It's gonna show two interceptors at the same time. Which is something I didn't find out about for a good, I don't know, six months to a year of, of playing this back in the day. That you can um have Off fuel. So you can have like up to four ships shooting the same UFO at the same time, and like the combat is. It's not four separate instances of combat, like all the UFO, all, not all the UFOs, all the interceptors, all the all of your ships um, have like a simultaneous combat turn, turn, instance, I guess. These guys might land. Let's just shoot them down. I don't want them landing. Uh, you gotta wait for them to go to land first. Shit. Well. <laughs> Hope you guys don't mind being harvested. Uh, yep, yeah, harvested. So they're not taking humans. Damn it. Retaliator, get him. Retaliator, get him. Oh, we're really fast. Actually, no, he's just going really slow. I don't know why. He's already um landed. All right, let's let's try and double intercept this guy if he's over land. Oh, it's cutting it real close. Oh, perfect. All right, so like, look at this. You get them to both fire at the same time. It's pretty great. And there we go. And it resolves the combat, and everyone goes home. Oof. Okay, that's 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 gonna be a lot of fun. I'll be back in just a minute. Alrighty then. So what do we need to make? We can make flying suits uh, for our main squad. We could make power armor for all of our secondary squads in the random bases. Uh, I think the power armor is a bit low priority though. Plus it's pretty expensive to do when we're running low on money. Yeah, 42k per suit. Uh, flying suits are really expensive as well, though. 58k. Mm. We could just make a ship. Surprisingly, ships are not that expensive. Ah, uh, we need to transfer. Um, this retaliator to somewhere else. Also, we can probably sell the Sky Ranger. Uh. Although the Sky Ranger is really good at patrolling, because it has a crap load of fuel. So maybe we will not sell it just yet. Just take everyone off of it. And all the equipment.
I'm gonna put it on the Avenger. And I think we need some more Electro Flares. Also, stun rods are really good, holy crap. <laughs> None of stores. Classic. Alright, maybe let's build a stores when we can. We need to tear down another lab soon. Running out of things to research. Um, actually, we can tear one down now. Bam. Perfect. Alright. Build stores. General stores, there. I'm thinking maybe we didn't need five workshops here though. That's fine. Um, so, equip the Avenger. Including... Let's give it two guns. Oh boy. So, this is why I ordered so many more soldiers, like, last week. It's because the Avenger fits so many people on it. Look at all these rookies which will do almost nothing each mission. Behold. Also we need some more. Soldiers. Maybe just two. We're not expecting to like lose everyone. Uh put on two hover tanks. 18 rifles, what, that's 36, so it's 40 smoke grenades, jeez, I'm glad I ordered more. 18 proximity grenades, we need to order some more of those. Right, no store space. That's why I stopped. Um, get rid of some more alloys, I guess. Check it down to 300. We can buy more grenades. 20 spares. We don't. Oh. I haven't used proximity grenades that much this playthrough, except for that base defense where I had one guy left and I didn't have many choices. Let's buy it. We'll save some more smoke grenades. Alright. Should I put actual normal grenades on? I think grenades are just normal grenades, but better. Like, there's nothing special about them. They're not smoke grenades. They're not proximity. Uh, they're not grenades with proximity sensors. And also, that's bullshit because you should be able to rig whatever motion sensor or whatever from the proximity grenade onto an alien grenade, and you'd have like a proximity alien grenade, which does the same damage as the alien grenade, but sets off just like a proximity grenade. Maybe someone should mod that. Maybe I should mod that. Once I know how the hell that works. Um, Electro flares. We're too short. Perfect amount of medikits. Oh, I think that's. <laughs> I think that's accidental. I think we're supposed to be giving those to one of the other bases. I'm gonna build five more. Real quick. So many engineers. Take them 12 hours, dude! There's nearly 200 of them, why does it take 12 hours? That's retarded. Oh well. Um. Soon we're gonna encounter blasters, and blasters are like... <laughs> blasters are actually insane, they're like rocket launchers on mega super steroids. They do multiple times as much damage and like instead of firing in a straight line like you can have onboard targeting systems like you can waypoint them around objects. It's literally possible to win every mission without leaving your craft by using blasters. It's just retarded. And I've actually done it on on the final mission, I have one time just for the hell of it, I won the mission from my spawn point by using just blasters. Oh man. It was quite an experience. 
Yeah, let's move that Sky Ranger. Maybe to Dell. Where's Dell? You're up here. That's good. Ooh, that is expensive. You should just be able to fly there, dude. Oh well. What do we name the Avenger? Uh, I should probably make some sort of smart Marvel pun, but I can't think of one. Yeah, I'll I'll come back to that. Uh, you need to build more workshops because we can make more money that way. Uh, and sell more stuff because <laughs> we're going break. Honestly, probably don't need that many power sources. And the alien base is, is going to give us some more, so. More money. Another workshop. Damn. Oh shit. Oh my god, I totally did not notice that this place also is ready to rumble. Alright. So our engineers are going to be there in two days. I don't think I've ordered engi any engineers here or here. Yeah, I, pr I probably meant to do it like at the end of last time I probably made a mental note, hey by the way, order some engineers, but it's been a week so I just forgot. Um, we are going to need to figure out a way to get money real fast to order all those engineers. I don't think we can do it without selling these heavy plasmas. So I might just I'll sell all of the guns but one and just like keep 20 clubs. And that's still not enough money. Uh, So I have a toss up. I can order engineers or I can build workshops. I'm thinking engineers. Because engineers make money, workshops don't as such make any money. Uh maybe fifty at each. And I'll try and sell something else. Like some more clips. Maybe some grenades. And some stun bombs. Not enough money. Alright. Um, Dow got attacked. Do you have some spare equipment? No, I sold it all. Fair enough. Makes sense. Um, that's all. Those are not selling for very much. Um. More alloys, I guess. Because alloys are easy to recover, and you can just like make them if you need to. Fifty engineers, please. Also, holy crap! You can't just get like what we just ordered about two hundred of the world's best engineers. You can't just do that without no one noticing. Oh, they literally just finished. That's probably why I didn't notice them. <laughs> Fair enough. Refueling... I think I shot down the top one first? I don't actually remember. That's a large though. That's a medium. I might go to the medium first just so I get the hang of... The new crew. Look at that speed, dude. It is so fast. Holy shit. Uh, you don't need that, friend. Put it on the ground. On that, on your shoulder, actually. So who the hell is the medkits? Oh shit, I forgot to give them armor. Well, they're gonna do nothing. I, I don't want them to leave the craft under essentially any circumstance now. Oops. I knew I forgot something somewhere. <laughs> oh well. Alright fellas.
This looks an awful lot like a night mission to me. Ugh. That's a lot of shooting. I... it might be a dusk mission. Maybe it's not night, maybe it's just dusk. The guy closest to us has a pistol, the guy further away has a rifle, that's fine. We can deal with that. Oh, it might be a night mission. Shit, it's a night mission. It's a night mission and a third of my crew has no armor. And they're floaters. So we can't just smoke everything either. That is not fun. Oh, and they fixed the um, Avenger bug. You used to be able to walk through these um, diagonal walls. I have played Open XCOM before to completion. I've apparently just forgotten the fact that I did so though. Actually, these guys can actually come out and shoot. Because the floaters have used up all the all the reaction shots already, so as long as they go back onto the craft afterwards, it's pretty safe, actually. Uh, why is why is this a night mission? Holy shit! We still can't see them. Um, oh my god! You're in the way. The tank can't get out. I'm actually thinking of killing him. If anyone nearby has a stun rod, I'm just going to knock him out. I need that tank out there. Uh, who has a stun rod? Bruno. Oh, Bruno can do it. Maybe. Uh, yes, Bruno can do it. Alright. Okay, sure. Chuck the grenade out there. And then stun your friend. I hope this works. Uh, yes, perfect. Alright, tank. Go explore. I know where the enemies are before they kill my guys. Holy shit, that's so far away. And I have no idea what gun he has. And I think there's another one over here. Well, this is bad. Um. I'm gonna get this guy to shoot the pistol. Good, good. Uh, maybe this guy can pop out and take a shot at this floater over there. No land fire because the foot's in the way. Mm, I can't afford to have him staying out. As I say that, he stays out. Okay, well, we're gonna have to put people in front of him then. Otherwise, he's gonna die. Oh my god, I didn't prime the, all of the grenades either. Everything's going wrong. <laughs> Please. I need you to take the shot. Um, I don't know what to do. Alright. Please take the shot. Oh, no line of fire, god damn it. Um, go here. Definitely line of fire from there. Oh, there we go. Is your grenade primed? Yes! Alright, so just chuck that on the ground. And that will help us out. Your grenade is primed, so apparently I forgot to prime only a small portion of the grenades. Interesting. Link. <sighs> um primed, okay, perfect. Um chuck that one over here. Maybe not. Eh, that'll do. Uh, these guys maybe just float above, actually. A 
flying suits are pretty difficult to crack through. And usually when you do crack through them, it's not lethal. So it's just, they're out of the way when they're up there. If they're on ground floor, it's just asking to get grenaded. My god, if these guys have blasters, we're so fucked. There was a guy down there. Alright, tank. Oh, holy shit, he's right next to us. Yeah. What about the other guy? You are pretty hurt, so I'm guessing that that was a heavy plasma or something. Yep, that's heavy plasma. Alright. Just chill there. Oh, you got shot because you're floating. Okay, so we need to stop floating then. Because the smoke's not going to cover us. Totally forgot that that would be such an issue. Down you get. There's someone there. Alright, down you get. Down you get. And down you get. Alright. Probably no one behind the ship, but just in case you were gonna. Oh my god. Okay, it's not behind the ship. And that line of sight is more than night, so maybe it is actually a dusk mission? Maybe the tank got unlucky with its original, um. hunting? Like not being able to see anything? I, I don't really know why. But that seems to be the case. Um, anyway, I do need to, you know, cover this. I'm pretty sure that's a door. Yes, yeah, so there's a door here and a door there. And we need to cover both of them. Let's work on that. Ah, oh, this is so risky. Plus, we didn't kill that floater yet. Boink. Heavy plasma, so that could have ended really badly. Get a flank on us. And you, my friend, sit there and look pretty. Keep the stun around. Alright, tanks. Find me some aliens. Damage tank. Also find me some aliens. Ow. Not dead though. Which is good. He did take damage though, so it's probably heavy plasma, maybe plasma rifle. Okay, I'm just really confused as to what's up with this vision. The tanks seem to not be able to see anything. But the humans are having no problems that I can tell. That's every plasma. I'm not sure what that one is. But that might be the last of the outside aliens. Like, maybe for some weird reason tanks are coded to not um, see at dusk properly or dawn properly. I, I don't really know. But, uh, in any case, we need to deal with these. I assume you can't shoot. What the fuck? But, like, he's behind hills. How does that even work? You seriously have line of fire? Because, I mean, you're missing all your shots. I'm a little skeptical. I'm not convinced they actually have line of fire. That's really funny. I mean, they say that they do. 
that guy I can plausibly understand having land fire. I guess I guess if he has it, the others technically do as well. Like they kept it looks like they kept getting interrupted by this little hill bit. So I don't know. Dun -dun 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 -dun. Look there. And these guys will get ready to breach the craft, I guess. And hopefully not die. Because not dying is good. You're kind of injured. Not the best. Oh well. If you die, it was nice knowing you. Oh, we didn't kill the other guy. Shit. Get him. Well, that was efficient. And the third shot would have killed them just in case. Alright. Quite a bit of movement. Still confused about the tank line of sight. I might have to look that up later. Or maybe it's a bug. I don't know. In any case, just uh, just chill there. We'll get to you when we can. I think at night the line of sight is nine tiles. Um, and I definitely saw more than nine tiles from like here to here, here to here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, that's more than nine. Pretty sure. Pretty sure. Okay, they're panicking. That's fine with me. Let's move four people to the second door. Maybe move them up a bit closer actually. Out of line of fire of the first door. Hello. Looks like happy plasma. No harm. Maybe it was a rifle. It's hard to tell with the sliding. Everything's so dark. But a soldier wants to party. I am happy if you want to party. That's good for you, dude. You should enjoy life. You should have a good time. You party your heart out. Um. Let's make it so the first thing they see are people with the maximum protection I have available. <laughs> Actually, no, I can do one better than that. I can make it so the first thing they see are tanks. And that's just going to enrage them and they're going to want to shoot the tanks because, you know, no one likes tanks, dude. You are going to sit right fuck there, like right there, and look right at the door. And that is hopefully going to save everyone's ass. And you're going to do the same thing over here. Because that's what a good tank does. It dies for its friends. Actually, you should move a bit closer and then have one of these guys move a bit further back. Yeah, that's good. So the plan is they come out, they shoot the tanks, if they shoot anything, probably. And then we just shoot them. And that will hopefully work. Fingers crossed. It's a lot of a lot of doors. I want to wait for a few more guys to come out, thin the ranks a little bit. I feel like we haven't killed enough of them yet to make it so there's like not many when we breach, so it's less risky to go in. Alright, so there's a medic and a leader. 
and a soldier. Because they've all panicked so far. So, anyway, let's, let's go. Hello. Your ship doesn't look too healthy. Kabam, hello. No one home. Uh, kneel before Vlad. So that the people behind you can shoot. And we're just gonna camp the fuck out of this elevator for a little while. And hopefully they do not shoot us all. You are going to do nothing because he doesn't see you. And that is just the way we like it. Hello. I think the floor's damaged. As I can see upstairs. More than I should be able to. Who needs training? You could do with some training. Do this guy in the back, because you're a traitor. Kind of to destroy the food. Good. Um, sprint inside and gun this guy down in the back, because you are also a traitor. Congratulations. And you're just going to go inside. And look there. Look there. Wait, that's that's a shit idea. Look there. See, I th think the floor is damaged. I'm not certain. So... Make it three guys to look at the elevator. And then three guy of two guys. Do I just look at the potential hole in the floor? Because I don't know where it is. And we'll get ready to. And we'll get ready to hop inside the elevators. Hopefully. A couple of them will come out and say hello. Did we knock one of them out, out here? Maybe we did. I'll get the rookies to just keep an eye out. Those uh, knocked out aliens... Um, they lose their weapon, so they're completely safe to be out here. Technically, the aliens do not lose their grenades, so I guess we should be standing really far apart. Oh, there's a dude out here. Well, alright, that's that's a lot safer. You just stand there. Like, there. Alright. I'll wait a few more turns and then head up the UF. Nope, that's not what I wanted to press. We'll wait a few more turns and then head up the ele- hello. There is a hole in the floor. This guy has no weapon, let's just gun him down with reaction shots. Oh, there's another one. That's pretty weird, not gonna lie. Now let the tank get out of the way. Let the rookies take some shots. There's the grenade. Oh my god, it actually happened. Oh. What I should have done. What I should have done is get the rookies to take the shots before the alien can pull out a grenade. Now people might die. Well, someone's already died, so I guess it's a bit late for that. Uh, damn it. I mean, they're just rookies, so they're not that valuable, but still. I prefer not to lose them, just because I forgot to take armor. Panic, panic, panic. Yeah, shoot him in the back like a traitor. What the fuck, dude? Okay, he threw a grenade, it didn't actually kill anyone, he just blew up some of his food. 
So I I can't sell that anymore. That's so spiteful. <laughs> hey rookie, there's a slot on the UFO for you. <laughs> Don't ask why. Oh god damn it, we lost some guys to wounds. The um grenade must have actually hurt them. I need to go eat soon. Um wounded. Five days, no, eight days. That's okay. Seventeen's a bit worse. Twenty is really bad. Five days, three days, eight days. Alright. Well buy some more soldiers, because whoops. And sell some crap. Like he he blew up some of my money essentially when he did that. That's so rude. Uh, all right. Off we go. Wait, shit. I'm supposed to eat, and before I go and eat, let's give everyone armor because that's a good idea. Wow, we're definitely going to need to make more suits. Yes. And they're real close. Alright. We'll call it there. And I'm going to go grab food. So, thanks for tuning in. Um, I might stream tomorrow. We'll see. If not tomorrow, then... I was going to say Friday, but probably not Friday. So probably tomorrow then. Uh, and I'll catch you guys later.